and I and always fought for LeBron, but now he walks around like he's won something. All right. You haven't. Look, 90. What's going on, everyone? I'm going to do just a quick intro here. It is about 2 in the morning where I'm at, and uh, YouTube just knows me too well. So I saw this on my feed, and this is from 2011. Um, this is after um, the Miami Heat got embarrassed by the Dallas Mavericks. And this is First Take with Shannon. I'm sorry, not Shannon. Uh, Skip and uh, Stephen A., and this is the turning point where Stephen A finally gets sick of defending LeBron. So, I don't know. The mood I'm in right now, late at night, you know, I was just chilling, relaxing. This is humorous to me. So, let's go back and relive 20, 2011 and see what it felt like. Great desk, Stephen A. Smith. Next topic, the tweet heard around the world. LeBron tweeting yesterday to John Clayton. He wanted to know when was the deadline for NFL teams to sign free agents. And man, did that cause a stir. Yeah, this, so this is right after he lost the championship after guaranteeing that he'd win eight. And then he pulls this crap when uh, there's a collective bargaining thing going on with the league and uh, it's not going to start on time. Even A, you had a particular problem with it. Go. Well, he came out and he uh, acknowledged later on that he was joking, if, I'm, if I hear correctly. Um, my whole point with LeBron James is that he just needs to be quiet. Uh, the NBA had just canceled the first two weeks of the season. Uh, people, you know, over in excess of $200 million is being lost people losing their jobs and things of that nature and here you are joking as usual i have no problem with them tweeting because players tweet all the time mm -hmm. that's not the issue it's what he was it's the fact that he was joking and it was the timing of his joke that i have a problem with you need to focus okay on getting a deal done getting a collective bargaining agreement reached so you can get back on the court and make up to millions upon millions of fans who watched you wet the bed <laughs> in the fourth quarter. Yep. That's what you need to be doing. I don't want to hear anything about football. I don't want to hear anything about anything else. I don't want to care. I want to hear about their sneakers. I, I have no problem with Carmelo Anthony. You know, his sneakers, but he, you know, they got to win too. And Amari Stoudemire being up here yesterday with, you know, with, 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 with his tight suit on and all that. I have no problem with that either. <laughs> I got no problem with none of that. But LeBron James, it is time. And the reason that I say it's time is because he's the one with the tattoo, the chosen one. Yep. He's the one with the King James. Yep. I want to hear stuff. He, you know, he's a great guy and, 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 and you know, he's got to deal with a lot of stuff. And, and we, you know, bottom line is he's a great person. This oh. is at the beginning, I remember, uh, when Stephen A would start to preface talking about LeBron. But he's a great man. He's a great father. He's great this. But when it comes to basketball, and then he rips his ass. <laughs> Okay, and we shouldn't even be focused on anything but his game. But his game has come up short time and time again. Yep. And the one other thing that I want to say, Skip, before I leave this to you, and I'm dead serious about this. There's something about LeBron James that's really starting to alarm me. You got titles, King James, Chosen One. None of the great guys, you know, they, they, they shun all of that until they won a championship. Yep. It's like he wants to be crowned with no ring. I love that right there. It's like he wants to be crowned without, well, basically without winning rings. Like, what are you the king of? What are you the goat at? Like, what are you, what are you the chosen one for? Like, if you're not going to win. You don't get to do that. Skip's been saying you that gotta for get years. it done. Skip's been saying that for years. I, I, and he I've said. been holding off on it because I disagree with Skip totally. But to lose in the finals the way that he <laughs> did, and then to come out here with the smile on your face like that, the world is just beautiful. I would I don't understand it. I champions don't do that. They just don't. That's that's what I wanted to Sounds say. Sounds familiar. Why are you so hard on this poor man? <laughs> <laughs> that Can is, you just I leave give him you, alone? that is funny coming from you. That is hysterical. <laughs> oh my wait, 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 God. wait. You of all people. Do, do, do you have something personal against this man? You know what? <laughs> I, I, that's all I've ever heard for five years. Listen, yeah, man, I, it listen. is. This is this is Skip's like. You know, he's just like he's jumping around for joy a moment. He's like, holy crap, my partner finally sees it. Skip, 
it has it, it's got me to the point. I never dreamed that I would see LeBron James not show up in the fourth quarter the way he did for four straight games in the NBA Finals. But then and that's the thing. It wasn't one game. Anybody can have a bad fourth quarter. I mean, if you do that in the playoffs and you're supposed to be the GOAT, there's a problem. You, you know, but if you do it four in a row, four times in a row in the finals to lose when you were favored, this was such a big deal. It was such a big deal come out and to say what he said in the aftermath of that press conference people are just going to go back to their regular old lives and to walk around all summer long city to city state to state wherever he is big fat smile on his face like it's no big deal that we lost and I embarrassed myself in the NBA finals yeah no kidding uh, th I, I think back to the year before the Jordan won his first championship what did he do he worked out all year pissed off or all summer pissed off came back and won some championships when he came back in uh what 95 94 95 um yeah yeah, yeah 94 95 season and then they lost to the orlando magic what did he do bulked up lifted weights practiced all summer ready to kill he wasn't <laughs> He wasn't doing this kind of crap, just clowning around and, you know, saying, oh, all you guys, you know, all you guys doubting me like you haters, you know, you guys are you guys got to go back to your broke ass lives and your broke ass jobs. You know, he wasn't doing that. LeBron did that. So, <laughs> oh, shit. It's no big deal. It, it, I, I can't take it no more. It, it, enough. I, I'm shocked. Enough. Yep, I'm shocked. Enough. Right Stephen A. You got to get it done. It, Stephen A. Bayless. Oh, don't say that. Oh, oh my God. Stephen A. Bayless. Stephen A. It is shocking because yeah. you, you've come a lot closer yeah. to where Skip is listen, on this topic. Listen, I have because, yeah. but no, no, let me, I always disagree with him. But now, LeBron James has given substance and credence to the argument that yeah. Skip mm, Bayless okay. was making about yeah, him. Yeah, I, who defended him all of these years? You have. Okay. It's, it's too much, man. No. It's just too much. It's crazy. In 2024, there's still so many people that are still defending him, making excuses for him. Allow me, hey, allow me to. And as much as I dislike Skip Bayless, I got to give him credit. He saw this right from the beginning. When nobody else did, or only very few people did. It took me a, a, more than a couple of years. It was the year before this, actually, where I was like, oh, boy. And then when he went to Miami, I was like, oh, boy. And then he lost in Miami in 2011, and I'm like, oh, he's not even close to, 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 to what we thought he was. Psychoanalyze my friend Stephen A. Go ahead, please. Because I believe I know you better than you know yourself. Oh, God. A Go lot ahead. of this is coming from a place of... How dare you guys take my NBA away from me? You're in mourning. You, you said he should have been in mourning. We should be in. You're in mourning because you love this game. Yes, I do. This, this has been your life, yes, your do. life blood. It's what you want to talk about. Not that you don't want to talk about the NFL and baseball and You're whatever right. else, but this is what you love. You're right. National Basketball Association. And for the first time in a long time, it has been pulled right out from under you when it's time to go. It, this is the time we should be nearing the start of a season here, and it's looking farther and farther away, and it is killing you. So you want him to shut <laughs> up because this is dire straits time. You want him at the negotiating table, not at the, the is keyboard. Is he onto something there? It makes sense. He, he, no, no, no. Skip is completely right. That's not all there is to it, but every word that he just said is 100% correct. I absolutely do feel that way. But the other issue, like I talked to before, is I've spoken to champions. I've spoken to Hall of Famers throughout my career. I, I agree And they that. talk about the price that they paid in order to win, to be crowned champions. Right. And this yep. guy is walking around like he won the title. That's <laughs> it. It was like it started with his own behavior and all of his fans somehow treat his finals losses as though they were successes. Like those were victories. Wow. Wow. And I didn't realize it back then. So here it is in 2011 coming out. I just want to I just want to go back about. 20 seconds here. Correct. I absolutely do feel that way. But the other issue, like I talked to before, is I've spoken to champions. I've spoken to Hall of Famers throughout my career. I, I agree. And they that. talk about the price that they paid in order to win, to be crowned champions. Right. And this guy is walking around like he won the title. It bothers me <laughs> enough. You got 
to get it done. Yeah. Period. Yeah. No more excuses. No more. I don't care about what, what products you're selling. I don't care about what you're doing through November, through May, assuming there's going to be a gate. I care about what you're going to do in terms of putting rings on your finger so Skip Bayless, myself, and everybody else can shut up. It is time. I'm tired of this man being celebrated. For what? We know you're great. <laughs> How about winning? How about winning? Win for one. Win just for win. once. Yeah. Just win, baby. Welcome just to the dark win. side. You have a Al Davis, just win. Yeah, that's it. I, and that's why, the, the, even though okay, after this he won two championships in 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 uh, Miami, so he went two for four. That's that's not impressing me, you know. And then he went one for four against the uh, the Golden State Warriors with uh, with the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's not impressive, you know. And that's how he he ended up at this point where he's four and six. 40% in the NBA Finals. Like, get the job done. Get the job done. This is when it started. The reason I'm bringing it up, because this is when it started, where I was like, you've been in two finals and you lost them both, even with the stacked deck now. Like, that's not okay. You're not a real one. No, enough said. I, I have to say, victory, Skip Bayless. You Thank have you. changed Stephen A's mind on something he I has never thought. LeBron he, changed my yeah, mind. He, he's yes. been saying this for years, yeah, Stephen but A, LeBron, and you debated him on but it. Le, and, I, and always fought for LeBron. But now he walks around like he's won something. All right. You haven't. Look, 90. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, LeBron changed my mind back then, too. I used to think Skip, I mean, I don't think much of Skip as a person. But as an analyst, I thought he was way off his off his, his his rocker in those early years when LeBron was you know coming up short in the playoffs. I kept thinking he's young, he's young, he's gonna figure it out. You know, he's gonna figure it out. Enough losses, and he's gonna grow. He's gonna come back pissed off. He's not gonna be scared anymore. He's gonna turn that fear into like motivation. It just didn't happen. But you know. I yeah, it wasn't Skip or any analyst that changed my mind. It was LeBron James himself that changed my mind. I was a big fan. I was a big fan of his before. Three seconds, and I know it's just okay. fun. Yeah. We've seen other guys go from basketball to football, and none oh, of them were on. the freaks in basketball. That like LeBron got. would ever play a contact sport. Come on, he flops. He goes flying like twenty feet when, like you know, thin air touches him. And then he goes flying. So you think he's going to actually handle real hits on a football field? Shoot. I is. He was all state in the state of Ohio in high school. I know. Could he play in the NFL? Easily. Without question. This guy's a freak of nature. That's one of the reasons he annoys me so much. Yeah, now, yeah. He can do it all. He's one of the greatest athletes we have ever seen. And that's a problem, too. It's because if you're talking physically, could he... Could he play in the NFL? Oh, my God. Could you imagine him being a wide receiver? But it's because we know who he is that I say there's no way in hell he can do it because he's just not he's not built that way. He is a freak of nature. He is a locomotive. He is an unstoppable presence. I don't know what position he but could play. But that heart of a champion, you say he lacks, he needs he more of that in he football. Un he unquestionably lacks well, the heart of a champion. He needs more of that unquestionably. Heart, though, in football. That's true, but there's a lot of guys that play on the level, but they don't show up in big moments, right. but they LeBron play. LeBron James yeah, yeah. will want no part of the contact required to play in the National Football League. I don't believe he's mentally or physically tough enough. Dude, Skip is just, Skip is so on it. To be he's physically star, tough enough. To be a star. He's physically tough enough. Yes, I don't think he would be able to take it he on a Sunday. He would want no part of the contact in a high school practice. Well, that's true. Because he's throwing he, the money down the line. There's, smart of him. there's an Absolutely. injury risk, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you have it. Thank our you. LeBron James talk. Stephen A., very strong. We're going to take a break. <laughs> when we come back, the Dream Team label, we know it. Michael Vick said it. It's dead. The question is, can the Eagles come back from the dead? Oh, They're wow. one and four. Is their season over? Q, skip. Eagles Stephen inside. A. I got that in. <laughs> Man, you guys remember? You remember that era? You had Michael Vick and Donovan McNabb rotating quarterbacks for the uh, for the Eagles at that time. Wow, it's good times, man. Yeah, well, that that's that video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to go down memory lane. Um, I haven't seen that full segment since it happened. Um, what 13 years ago? So, I mean, I'm just. I'm just astonished at how 
from that moment on, LeBron didn't really change. Like, they already had him pinned. Both of them have had him figured out and pinned. Skip had him pinned earlier on. But both of them, right there on ESPN, had him figured out. You don't have the heart of a champion. You know, you don't get it done when it matters. And you're just not that guy, you know? Yet you're going around celebrating like you are the champion. And it bothers people. It bothers, uh, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't bother the, the young generation because, you know, with social media, there's a lot of, like, fake clout chasing that's, um, like, artificial clout chasing that, that that goes on with the younger generation. You know, and we got people lining up just to take, like, Instagram photos and, like, short videos and stuff of them in a rented-out Ferrari or Lambo so they can pretend to their friends that they have that they're rich and they have a Lambo, you know, like that's what's going on. While somebody my generation, like that's just asinine to do. Like that's embarrassing to do. When people find out you don't have a Lambo, like how embarrassing is that? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, though, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is fun for me. It's super late. I'm going to go ahead and edit this and post it. Hopefully it doesn't get blocked by Disney ESPN. We'll see what happens. Peace out, everybody. Have a wonderful night. And uh, the next video is going to drop in a couple hours anyway. So I'll see you all soon. Peace out.